What's pop? And I'm back on Showdown today. Excited to bring you all the team I made around Behem, a Pokemon that I've been trying to make work for some time, but just couldn't think of the right team for it. However, I have now cracked the code. This is a very strong team, so before I show you all the absolute power, I'd like for you to leave a comment and tell me an obscure Pokemon that you like. I'd like to know a Pokemon that not a lot of people talk about. Behem, I feel, is one of them. Like, I feel that there was a generation where I completely forgot it existed, then I found it again when I was looking for something to build around, but... Yeah, I look forward to reading all the comments as always. Also, we're extremely close to 60k on the channel. Just need under 200 more of you fine people to join our ranks. So if you are enjoying the content, it would be much appreciated. Let's talk about Behem. Look at this thing. We got the Choice Specs Analytic, and that's going to be powering up the attacks if we go after the opponent. And if they switch out, it also activates Analytic. Now, this is extremely useful because the damage output is a lot greater. Thunderbolt's able to Oko... Um, Corviknight and stuff on the Switch. This Pokemon actually has probably one of the strongest future sites in the game. Um, and I think that's the best way to run it because of the fact that Pokemon like Dark types, Steel types, this doesn't have the best coverage for. You know, those kinds of Pokemon can either wall it or just destroy Behem. So if we line up a future site, right? If we activate future site, their Pokemon switches in that's good against Behem. We switch out into something like Terrakion, which is a really good fighting type Pokemon. Force those Pokemon out and into something like maybe Toxapex, Landorus, or whatever, then we'll be able to do damage, plus the Future Sight. I'm pretty sure that, that'll, that'll like knock it out. That's just a lot of power right there. And so, um, yeah, we're running Modest Nature, of course. Intricate EV spread here. We got enough speed for Chansey. Um, Chansey with a Violet's a little bulkier. I want to at least be faster than it because, um, yeah, it's just bulkier in general. Having a little bit of speed, I think, is, is pretty good for this thing. Look at that magic HP number here. I'm pretty sure our last featured Pokemon had 333 HP as well. <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. But um, yeah, this ADVs and 4EVs here, they actually like change the damage a little bit, reduces a little damage from U-turn, reduce a little damage from some special attacks as well. But um, not designed to take hits, of course, more along the lines of can I survive at least something and then do some damage back? Or if I bring it in on something safely, just do a lot of damage right off the bat. And so, yeah, I like Future Sight. With um, Flash Cannon to deal with like Kiram and Clefable and stuff, Oko's those Pokemon is pretty good. So then, I, like I said, we have Terrakion just to be able to deal with Dark and Steel types for Behem, really solid Pokemon overall. Uh, Dragapult. So actually, this is where we get to the nice Volturn core here. Very, very nice momentum core to hopefully bring in Behem safely because we can't let it take his. We just can't switch it in on, on certain stronger mons. So we got the Dragapult with T Wave and uh, the Rotom with T Wave potentially to be able to paralyze a Pokemon so that they can't move and that's always useful for a Behem to at least get some extra um, attacks off here and there um, or just bring it in safely with them not being able to do anything but we got the nice Hex U-turn, Vol Switch here, U-turn on this thing with rocks and then U-turn on the Scizor. Scizor is just great for like Tapu Lele and Kiram and stuff and of course we got the rocks and the Defog as well and that is the squad so let's um, hopefully make Behem put in the work been testing this team uh, quite a bit actually and it's been pretty successful I would say I, I mean I've been pretty consistent with it as well so get ready for uh, some behem action hopefully you already know this uh, I think this is like the perfect kind of team for it like at first I was trying to run it with Magnezone and stuff because uh, I want to trap Ferrothorn and stuff like that for behem but I figured um, that if you're running like a Voltron team to bring it in safely, that's also really good. This guy seems actually pretty, uh, pretty solid. Feels like Behem is just a fantastic lead though. Leads Dragapult, so I'm pretty sure he'll just Shadow Ball. Let's go into Rotom here as uh, Shadow Ball comes out. We will take that hit. I'm going to Thunder Wave here, and he crits. Yep, so he gets the roll. Oh, not even a roll. It, it, he, he just taxes straight up. Um, wonderful, wonderful. So we're going to go into Landers here, and I'm just going to fire off an Earthquake, I guess, and set up rocks here. So that Thunder Wave would have gone off. Um, yeah, I like that's Eevee not to get 2 killed by Shadow Ball, so, yeah, unfortunate. Unfortunate. Let's go into Terrakion here. Go right for the, uh, I want to say the, probably close combat, this thing, gone. <laughs> Excellent. So Dragapult's back. We're just going to have to, um, just going to have to outplay, I guess. I'll go Landers here, then go into my uh, Dragapult. 
where I can possibly... I'm just going to Thunder Wave in case he switches, which he does. And of course he dodges. Yep. So this guy is very, very much hexing me, but that's okay. I'm going to U-turn out here as he goes to Lazzle. Let's go into Behem now and get a big hit off on this thing. It's about time. It is about that time. Goodbye, Salazzle. So now Scizor is looking really clean. Very, very clean. So let him Shadow Ball to knock us out. That's fine. Let's go into um, Dragapult here. Pretty sure we can just... Uh... So I think it's probably better for us to Thunder Wave. Because then I can set up with Scizor, potentially. So I think we can do that. Let's just go Scizor here. Or even Terrakion's pretty good. But I'm going to go Scizor. Go right for the SD. He is still faster than me and gets the spadef drop as well. Yep, nice paralysis. Just what I needed. After all the hacks he's done, you know, it's pretty good. So if I can get good like damage on this thing, which I do, that's going to be really nice. I can roost here, actually. Yeah, let's, uh, let's beat his team 1v1 right now. Pretty sure we can. I'm going to bullet punch here, actually, just in case, so he doesn't set up. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Get him out of range of Clangor Soul, and we win the game. Beautiful, beautiful. So despite the unfortunate in that game, you saw some clear unfortunate in that game. Still came through, so I'm happy about that. And we got the knockout with the Behem as well. So that's why I like the momentum, you know, Scizor being able to um, you turn out of the Salazzle. Then you looked at the rest of his team. Nothing could switch into Behem, so he was forced to sack. And we got the knockout there, which allowed Scizor to win the game at the end. Um, very, very solid first game. Let's continue on to game number two. Let's see what we can do here. So I guess, yeah, I don't really have a switch in for Shadow Ball. <laughs> I really don't, but with how offensive this team is and how I can sort of like check it with Spadef, Lando, and I guess Rotom if I could land a T-Wave, it's um pretty good. Did I miss like two T-Waves in the last game? I'm pretty sure I did. Or three, two or three or something like that. Um, this guy's team looking pretty solid, pretty annoying. Might lead with, uh, might lead Behem actually. I'm gonna go ahead and lead with that. Let's drop a, I think I drop a Psy Shock here, right? Probably do that. He might have Shadow Ball on this thing, but Psy Shock's gonna do a ton of damage. Oh, Blissey? Oh, shoot. Gone. <laughs> I don't even think, I don't even know if the crit mattered, because it calculates on the defense side. So Kartana is in here. We go Scizor on this thing. That looks to be... I don't know if it's Scarf or Banded. I'm going to Roost here. Let's go ahead and get the Roost off. He has a Rotom he can go into. I also... I too have a Rotom that I can go into. I also have a Landers I can go into. I'm going to go Rotom. As he nasty plots up. Let's uh, Hydro Pump here. Discharge. And yep. Nice, nice. Don't know if I want to miss another Hydro. Kind of just want to full switch out. And then what I can do now is just go right into um, Dragapult. And just Hex here to knock this thing out. And then I have a Dragapult in, which is pretty good. Don't know if he wants to save this thing, but probably dies to a plus two bullet punch. Yeah, that thing is gone. So at this point in time, if you look at his team, Scizor kind of goes in. Uh, if he knocks off here, that's fine. I'm actually going to... Hmm. I'm going to go into... I think Landers as a pivot is the play. He doubles. We get the Intimidate off, which is pretty good. I'm going to go Rotom in case he sets up rocks. Because if he goes Rotom... Or if he, uh, yeah, if he sets up rocks like this, I can just defog here. I don't know how uh, fast he is, though. He's actually faster than me. Ooh. Ooh, I see. So actually, ooh, you know, what I, you know what I could do? Because of the fact that he's intimidated, I'm actually going to go Behem. And, uh... So he's Stealth Rock, Stone Edge. I'm going to drop a Future Sight. So maybe he's not... Is he U-turn, then? Stone Edge, Earthquake U-turn? Because then I could I could Thunderbolt and hit the slow bro, but like I don't really need to. I could just drop a future sight. Let me let me drop let me drop a future sight here. That would have been a good play if I thunderbolted too, but you know. 
I want to show off uh, future site behem. So this is exactly what we're going to do, right? We're going to go drag a pull here to threaten this thing. So he's going to future site himself. We're going to now just click. Um, so future site comes out on the next turn. So we get some big damage off here. He teleports out. Who into who? Tell me. <laughs> Landers. Okay, so let's see how much this does. Ooh, look at that. Look at that clean damage. 90% to Landers from Future Sight. Goodbye. Took some damage myself, but getting her Landers is pretty good. Pretty good indeed. <laughs> ah, not bad, not bad. So Kartana's back. We can go into our own Landers to intimidate. So just a little taste of the Future Sight right there. And um, pretty sure we can actually start Thunderbolting the Slowbro as well. He actually goes, uh, ooh. Alakazam? I'm Spidef, so I can U-turn out here. I don't even need rocks or anything. I'm just gonna U-turn out. U-turn out here should be the move. He's Psychics. Yep, he is actually Sashed. And so what I do now is I just um, go Scizor, Bullet Punch here. But he brings back in Slowbro. He has Rocky Helmet. Okay, so I gotta make sure I don't lose to Kartana. Gotta make sure I don't lose to Kartana at all. My play should be to, I think, um, I think go Behem, hard Behem, let him future side here, right? We drop a uh, Thunderbolt now. We drop a Thunderbolt here. Would he sack this? Yes, he does. So that's gone. And then I think at this point, we just let Behem go down because Scizor can win in the end. So I just, I think I just click uh, Thunderbolt here, right? Pretty sure. So he'll Leaf Blade. That knocks me out. He gets the attack boost. So he should be locked in now. I can just go Scizor and Roost. Leaf Blade is um, not going to be doing much to this thing at all, even with crits. So yeah, we just uh, Source Dance up. Roost here so that... I think a crit would do like 30-some. Maybe like 20-something or 30-something. So yeah, we just set up all the way, and then just bullet punch uh, because of the fact that we don't want to U-turn out. So we get max attack here. And then I think bullet punch should be a 2 at KO. Let's just start going for it now. See how much it does. Yep, 2 at KO right there. And then we win the game once again with uh, with the squad. And Behem actually uh, knocking out half the team, I think, right? Pretty much. So good game. Another, another great Behem game. Like, this is like the perfect, perfect team for Behem. It just makes me happy to see um, this kind of Pokemon really shining. And uh, yeah, look, look, at, look, at all, look at all his friends right here. He, he thought he was forgotten, but nah, he was never forgotten. He was just remembered by all the other Behems. <laughs> uh, okay. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, let's continue on. Continuing on. Uh, Aurora Veil vale team. That Mew's kind of scary. If it's, uh, if it's what I think it is. Like, cosmic power and stuff like that. I think what I, I think what I do here is, um, I probably lead with Terrakion, maybe. Or I lead with, um, or I can lead with Dragapult. Yeah, I'll leave Dragapult here. So this is probably Hazards. If I Thunder Wave, I get paralyzed myself, and I don't think I want to do that. So I'm going to Hex here. As he goes Bisharp. Bisharp's a kind of a kind of a threat. I'm going to go Terrak here. He Swords Dances up. We are free to close combat. And get an attack boost as well from that. So now what we do is we go into um, Dragapult here. He sets up Rocks. I'm okay with that. I'm just going to hex this thing as he spikes. Um, oh, he does have Flare Blitz. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, I guess I could just go back into Dragapult here. Knock this thing out. So I have Thunder Wave, so I do have some form of speed control on this team, which is pretty good. Let's see what he wants to go into now. So in comes Ninetales. All we do here is we uh, Thunder Wave this thing. And then what we do is we U-turn out here. 
This should allow us to defog everything away, which is going to be great for us. And then, yeah, we can defog here. So get rid of all of his screens and whatnot. He hypnosis, puts me to sleep. Um, and Dragapult also has Infiltrator, so that's really good for us. Um, I'm just going to go Behem right now. And then, actually, we could Flash Cannon here, or we could throw off some Psy Shocks, which I think will be much better. So let's do that. The Analytic Psy Shocks coming out now, which will be fantastic. Let's see how much it does the guard time, actually. Oh, it doesn't do too much. Not as much as I would have liked. I'm going to do it again, though. And... <laughs> we got a crit. <laughs> That's crazy, that's crazy. Oh, that's that's crazy. Unfortunate. Unfortunate, of course, for you. I would not have chosen to get it, but I got it. And so, that is, uh, that is what happens. So actually, versus this thing, what we do is, we, I think, go into... So I don't know if he's um Ice Punch or not. Don't know if he's Ice Punch. We don't want him to set up all the way. I think we go Landers to Intimidate, right? Rock Tome to lower the speed. He's indeed Ice Punch. We do live on 1%, which is beautiful. We have to just lower this thing's speed, which I think will be very crucial for us to win in the end. He is pretty fast, though. Um, and then what we do here is we go into, I think, Dragapult. Yeah, Dragapult here. We, okay, so let's think about this. We Draco Meteor. He goes Volcarona, Quiver Dances. We T-Wave. After we T-Wave, we U-turn out into Terrakion, hoping that he doesn't attack us. Um, and if he does, we have Behem Psy Shock. Because I don't think I want to take an Ice Punch from this thing. So yeah, let's Draco Meteor here to knock this out. That's, I think that's the play. So nine, Actually, no, he brings in Ninetales here, huh? Doesn't he? I see. So we do that, he gets the Veil up. I think it's the same thing in the end. All I do here is, um, all I do here, hmm. Cause I think Trakion can win in the end. We just have to T-wave the Volcarona. If I U-turn here into Behem, he gets a plus, he gets the plus one, I can't paralyze it. And Volcarona should live a hit. So I, yeah, we definitely stay in. We just have to T-wave the Volcarona. That should be uh, the move. All right, Thunder Wave here. You turn out into Terrakion. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Nice, GG. Good game, good game. If he had Quiver Danced again, he lost. If he did not have any, uh, if he didn't go for Psychic, then he also lost. And also, um, also we have uh, what is it? Re uh, no, I was about to say I was about to say Reuniclus. We got this Pokemon, Behem. To be able to uh also take a hit at plus one, which I, I believe it can. Um but then we also had Dragapult, which would be faster than it. Even at plus two. It has to get like plus three or something. There are a lot of chances for us there. Um But a great Behem game nonetheless. A great one. Um, let's continue on. See what we can do in the next one. But so far, so good. We're like 3 for 3 right now. Happy about that. Oh, <laughs> stall. Now, this would be a great team if he replaced one of these Pokemon for a Dust Noir and another of these Pokemon for a, I don't know, Shinotic or something. Um, Yeah, this guy has a, he has quite the team. He has quite the team. However, we do have one Pokemon. And that's Behem. I'm going to Thunderbolt here. Predicting uh, Corviknight to come in. Although he brings in Blissey. Which is pretty good for him. Let's go Scizor here. You turn out. As Pex comes back, we go Rotom. Let's, uh, let's defog here. He knocks off. I don't think I mind that. I'm just going to Thunder Wave. And he recovers. Let's go right for the uh, Volt Switch here, I think, is the play. So I think actually Behem can probably, probably beat Stall maybe. He knocks off. Okay, that's fine. Let's just go right for the U-turn uh, here. Yeah, as Corviknight comes in, we go Rotom. So he doesn't have a ground type, which means we can also um, just Volt turn all across his team. So Tangrowth comes in. Yep, yep. 
Let's go into uh, Scizor here. And you turn out. Pex comes back. We can go into uh, Rotom. Full switch out. So I guess he has this whole like regenerator thing going on for him. I'm gonna go be him. <laughs> I'm going to be him right here. Side shock. Let's see how much it does to this Blissey. Ooh, look at that damage. Look at that clean, clean damage. I'm actually going to uh, switch out to Rotom here. Predicting. I think he's gonna switch out, but. Mm, yeah, exactly, exactly. Nice. Let's Volt Switch here. Tangrowth comes in. We bring in Scizor. You turn out here. Espex comes in. Bring in Behem. Thunderbolt time. And hope that he okay, goes into something else. He just stays in, knocks off. But because he knocked off now, I don't have to lock myself into anything. I can now just click um, Thunderbolt again or... Uh, I think I, I could side shock here as well. I'm gonna Thunderbolt again. As Clef comes in, I could flash cannon here. Gone. <laughs> Absolutely gone. Ooh, the power of analytic. So Clef is gone now. Pex is weak. This is amazing. Wait a second. This is quite fantastic. Here I'm going to um gonna go Scizor. And then I'm going to U-turn out here. So he stays in. Let's go into Landers right now. Um, throw some rocks up here. I think is the play. To chip away at his team. Let's go ahead and U-turn out now. So literally Behem is, is destroying this guy's stall team. That's uh, That's impressive. So Corviknight's in now. Yep, we go uh, Rotom here. We'll switch out. This is the power. This is the absolute power of this team. Yeah, back into Scizor. You turn out here. See, now we got the Rocks chip. Uh, we back into Behem. Back into Behem. <laughs> back into Behem right now. Let's go ahead and uh, I think Psyshock here is the play. Yeah, Tangrowth comes in. How much is this going to take? Let's see. Good damage. We're faster. <laughs> We're faster than this thing. So in comes Corviknight. We're going to Thunderbolt this. Let's see what he does. Ditto comes in now. He'll take a ton of damage here. Beautiful. Oh, we got paralyzed too. Oh, shoot. I don't think I can knock it out though because that was analytic boosted. Um... We go into Landers. <laughs> I think he quit too. He literally he literally just quit the game, didn't he? Yeah, he forfeited. <laughs> Yo, 6-0 six -oh, six -oh stall. 6-0 -oh stall with Behem. This is uh, this is the team right here. We literally 6-0'd stall with Behem. Did you see how much damage it did to everything? <laughs> he was literally trying to keep dancing around our Volturn. Uh, Behem came out every time he brought in Pex. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Oh my lord. Ah, good game. Good game. That game actually made me incredibly happy. <laughs> never thought I'd see the day. And never thought I'd get the, the, get the kind of game like that where I get to show you all that game too. Uh, and have you all enjoy the destruction of Stall with me. Just enjoy it as much as I did, you know? Um, <laughs> this guy's rocking some other kind of Stall team here. Now, I think for this one in particular... Future sight's gonna come in handy. He's like, I play with I play with five months. <laughs> okay, okay. Could probably start a timer here too. So in comes Toxapex first. We are going to um We're gonna future sight here, I think. I, I like future sight a lot. There's no coverage that I have for Hydreigon, so he could go into it every time. So we definitely, I think we just drop a Future Sight. We go into, um, yep, so he brings in Hydreigon. We go, uh, I think, Terrakion here. Hard Terrakion. 
I don't know what set this is, but we will find out. Flamethrower, yep, beautiful. And then uh, a simple close combat. <laughs> a simple close combat goes a long way. Stone Edge also looks really good here too, actually. Um, Stone Edge looks really good. I'm still going to close combat though. I don't, I don't want to Stone Edge and miss or anything. I want to see kind of how he plays first. Okay, so it's Pukumuku. Nice. Oh, shoot. Is that Innards out? No! Terrakion, no! <laughs> oh, no. I thought he was unaware. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. So, I, I, I guess I'm going Landers now. No, I'm, I'm going to go uh, Rotom here. He was, oh, he was Innards out. I, need, I needed the com I needed the combination. All right, so Slowking comes in. We're going to Thunder Wave this just to ensure that we have the right turns. I'm going to, yeah, Volt Switch out now into Landris. As he Sludge Bombs, no Poison, which is great. I can U-turn out here into um, Rotom. Volt Switch now, I think, is my play. As he goes back to Slowking, we can go Behem. And I'm going to drop a Future Sight now. I think Future Sight is definitely the play here. As Pex comes in. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So, in this case, we go into... um. I think we go Scizor. I see Light Screens. And then we go for the U-turn here. It should be the play. As Corviknight comes in. Into Rotom we go. So he has a screen up now, which is a bit annoying. I'm going to still Volt Switch out here. Go Behem. Um, let's Psy Shock. As Pex comes in, takes 51. Beautiful. Double to Rotom. Yep, as Hydreigon comes in. Hmm. This is a pretty tough... This is a tougher stall team. Definitely a tougher stall team here. I'm going to get rocks up here. Force him to defog, I think. Should be the move. Let's go ahead and Volt Switch out. He's, he's got the annoying regenerator too to go with it. But I think we can come through. I think we can. Because he doesn't have any leftovers on this thing, so that's pretty good. So we go here into um, Behem. I'm actually going to uh, Thunderbolt here. Yeah, and get rid of Pex. Beautiful. So Toxapex is gone now, which is absolutely beautiful. So he doesn't play with five bonds. Now he plays with four. <laughs> ah, That's good. Toxapex being gone is really good. That, uh, that means that Scizor can Swords Dance and have a field day versus him. Absolute field day. Just got to weaken the Hydreigon a bit, which he does go into right now. I'm going to go into Rotom. I think it's my play. I like the Rotom switch here. As Slowking comes back, we're going to switch out now into Landorus. As he gets paralyzed, extremely, extremely good for us. Let's you turn out. Uh, actually, I'm going to Earthquake here. I, I, I don't know if he's going to stay in or not. Ooh, it's tough. He does. <laughs> yes! I knew. I had a feeling. I had a feeling he was going to do something like that. Yeah, and that's GG. Another, another not 6 0, but, um, but a 5 0 with stall. Still though, like if, if that Pukumuku was not innards out, I mean, I guess we were both playing with five months. I guess we kind of both were playing with five months. So it <laughs> technically it kind of is a six. So, you know, we, uh, <laughs> we take that. We take that. Ooh, wow. Back to back annihilation of stall using Behem as uh, the main Pokemon to just destroy whatever's in our path. This is amazing. Like we're putting in so much work with this Pokemon. And I'm, I'm surprised too because I did not, like, even while testing, I didn't get these kinds of like fantastic Behem games. But um, you love to see it. You absolutely love to see it. Um, what are we at? Let's see. Yeah, let's continue on. Let's continue on here. <laughs> oh, wow. Hope you all are enjoying the video, by the way. Hope you all are enjoying it as much as I am. Alright, let's see where this game's at. But, um, 
but yeah like i've been getting a lot of really great ideas for mons to bring and stuff like that like reg ice was of course suggested no, i thought of a really fun set for that behem um i think it was suggested a long time ago but this set here is like one of the best i would say one of the best let's um let's lead behem and what i want to do is actually go right for the uh future site here if he wants to u-turn that's fine that's absolutely fine we'll just throw off a future site first as ferret thorn comes in i'm gonna go hard into terrakion hard terrakion here as he spikes and we just close combat now as even if dragapult comes in for the close combat that's okay because the future site is going to do a ton of damage to it and so now what we do is we go into um i want to say uh, i want to say we go into um Hmm. Maybe, maybe Rotom is not bad. Let's go Rotom. So he'll Draco Meteor and miss. That's beautiful. Beautiful for us. In comes Ferret Thorn. And then what we do is we go into, um, we go Behem again and just throw off another feature set, I think. I think that's the play. So he knocks off, gets rid of us, and he has to essentially lose another Pokemon here. So we just go right back to Terrak and close combat now. So this is really good. We get rid of this Pokemon, that's going to be quite fantastic. So Dragapult's gone. <laughs> nice. Oh, did I, uh... Oh, I didn't Future Sight yet, I forgot. I, um... Uh... It comes on the next turn, I forgot about that. Okay, that's fine. We can just, um... So he's going to... Okay, check this out, check this out. Yeah, yeah, yo, yo. <laughs> check that out, check that out, though. <laughs> Close combat again. Yep, just what I like to see. Landorus now taking a, a, a big chunk of damage, and the future side coming out here, too. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, Close combat's a 2 hit KO, right? So we'll knock this out. That is beautiful. Volcarona comes in. We have our Spideff Lando, which is designed to deal with this thing. So we'll take the Flamethrower. Drop a Rock Tome, but that's gone as well. Crit probably does not matter. Now Dragapult comes in, and um, I think I want to throw some rocks up here. Let him Shadow Ball, that's fine. That is perfectly fine. Um, yeah, so what we do here is we go into... I don't know if this is Modest or Timid. I'm going to Rotom, and I'm going to click uh, Volt Switch here. And then we go into... Uh, I think we just go into probably, I want to say Scizor, or even, actually no, we go, um, what does he have? Spikes knockoff? Okay, that's fine. We go Dragapult. Let me Thunder Wave here. Make this thing nice and slow. So this should be fine, and then we can just Hex here to weaken it a bit. Yeah, just getting rid of this Pokemon. Rotom is really good too once this thing is gone. Yeah, so this thing, yeah, it, it's gone now, but we can go into um, Scizor here in U-Turn. Which I think should knock this thing out from the range it's at, right? Hopefully. Yeah, Mantine comes in. Yep, we go back to Rotom. Vol switch out here. Into, I don't know what set this is, but I think, I think we go Terrakin Stone Edge. Should be the play. He's leftovers. Let's just uh, Stone Edge here. Get some big damage off. Don't know if he'll sack anything, but we'll see. See, I don't know if he has Flamethrower or not. That's why I didn't want to go Scizor. Start a timer. Ooh, Terrakion, Banded Terrakion. Oh, okay, we got the thumbnail text too, the LMFAO. I like that, I like that. So here what we do is, or all we do is we go into, um, I think Rotom avoids the 2 hit KO, so we could do that, I think is the play. So let's go into that Pokemon. So he'll Draco, does a ton of damage there. We go Scizor now, I think is our play. If he drops another one, right? Which I think he might. I believe he would do that. All we do is we basically just keep Scizor around. 
So we bring in Scizor here. He's going to drop another Draco. Except he crits this time. Ooh. We have to roost. And then I think we just... Uh, I think we U-turn. No Scald Burn, please. Thank you, thank you. Into Rotom we go. And then we just... Um, Volt Switch here. Yep, doing a lot of damage to that. We go into uh, Terrakion. As he roosts, this allows us to click Stone Edge here. He's forced to sack um, Ferrothorn, though. I think. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Yeah. So let's knock that out. He brings in Dragapult. All we do here now is we Stone Edge as he Shadow Balls. Let's go ahead and bring in uh, Scizor here. I think we just Bullet Punch. I think we it's a 50-50, so he could either switch to Mantine, or he could stay in and Shadow Ball as we U-turn. So yeah, he does switch to Mantine, wins the 50-50 there. Um, so we U-turn out now. Go Rotom. Then I think we just uh, Thunder Wave here. And I think we defog here. Let's, um, hmm, this is tough, this is tough. Let's see if he gets full paralyzed, though, because I think there's a way we can win this. I think there's a way. So I don't know if he has Toxic on this thing or not, but let's, let's Vol Switch out. This is a tough game, very tough game. I'm a close one at that, so I'm I mean it's definitely a good one. We got some really great Behem games, so I'm happy. I don't it doesn't matter if we lose this one or not. This has been a very, very solid video. But I think I think my play is to Vol Switch, because I don't die to a Scald or anything. So I'm gonna go Scizor here. He decides to go for the Scald. And no burn, thankfully. Um our play, I think, is to just roost here. And then we U-turn out now into Rotom. Um, he's definitely water absorbed. So I think, yeah, we just Volt Switch out here. Yeah, Volt Switch out here is the play. This is a tough game. I'm thinking that we can still have the chance to win this though. As long as we keep Scizor alive, even if it's burnt, it, a 9% Dragapult is not going to survive. Ooh, we got a nice full switch there. Paralysis, paralysis, please, please, please. Nope, not not yet, not yet. The full switch is doing a lot, though. I mean, he's going to definitely get paralyzed at some point in time. At some point in time, all it takes is just one. Yep, there's one. We still have to keep going for any forfeits. They're not bad at all. Not bad <laughs> at all. Ah, the power of Behem. I think that's a wonderful, wonderful place to end it off. Um, we got to see Behem do some work in every game, put in the finest of work, and the whole team kind of showing it off, right? I mean, we got to see the Volturn uh, mechanic mechanism that went into allowing Behem to come in safely and be able to just take the lives that it did in this video. So thank you, everybody, for watching. Hope you all enjoyed the Behem showcase. Probably one of the best Behem showcases out there, in my opinion. We just got to see it do basically everything that you'd want to see in this pokemon in this in this video and destroy and destroy stall twice in a row which is <laughs> definitely what i like to see but like i said in the beginning of the video let me know uh, another pokemon you like that's just so obscure that you don't hear it a lot i think behem was one of them like i said because uh you, like you just you literally just don't see this pokemon at all but the amount of work it put in in this video was just too impressive to not uh show you guys so appreciate all the support and i'll see you all on the next video peace